Greetings, YouTube. It's the time for another uh, CGC showcase. Uh, this time, um, <laughs> last uh, as the last time, this is a Lady Death uh, Kickstarter and Holy Ruin. I was lucky enough to get to one of the um, higher tiers and um, also added uh, extra mystery envelopes uh, with uh, randomized um, covers. Um, so I will split um, split this video into um, um, into um, a couple of parts. First off, uh, I will show the um, the regular variants from the Kickstarter. Then I will go into the um, uh, mystery envelopes with um, some very nice and special covers, and then I'll finish off with um, a reward for the higher tier, the um, the legendary um, covers. Um, this might be my best uh, Lady Death uh, collection in a video so far, I think. I'm very happy with this lot. And also thank you for showing the interest um, in watching the video and also leaving a, a thumbs up or a comment. I really appreciate it. Let's start off with uh, this. Nothing very exciting, just a variant cover. War Angel. This is limited to 113 copies. 9-8. Foil cover. And Holy Ruin. Or a mega foil cover in this case. This is 37 of 300. Yeah. This is one of the few 9.6s I have. I must say that I'm very pleased with the, the way uh, Brian Polito handles the Kickstarters and uh, his Kickstarter campaign and Lady Death, um, uh, uh, Lady Death stuff because almost 99% of the, his comics uh, that are shipped from either his shop or, or his Kickstarter which I'm having shipped to a shop in the USA and then for uh, sealing by CGC uh, arrives in 9.8 condition. I've never had anything less than 9.6. That says something about the professionalism in the company and, uh, and I really like this um, uh, professional level from Brian Polito. So thumbs up for him and I really, really enjoy uh, his Kickstarter campaigns. Highly enjoyable. Recommend recommended. Um, this was one of the um, um, covers with um, uh, which were um, randomized. This was the randomization. Um, 50 copies of each of the color tiers. And also of every color tier there is um, an Omega variant where she, Lady Death has kind of broken out of her box. Um, and, uh, and is standing looking... <laughs> Looking funny with the, those huge eyes. Um, this was just a, a regular silver variant. Moving on to the red variant. 9-8 this time. This was... Um, uh, part of a celebration of uh, reaching a uh, hundred thousand um, in the Kickstarter campaign. Hell Raiders. Variant cover. Homage. I guess most can guess what this is a homage for. It's um, of course Walking Death. Um, this Walking Death number one cover has reached kind of a modern, um, modern classic um, <laughs> cover, I guess. Um, I also have Walking Dead one in uh, one of my previous videos, in the same grade, of course. I love this cover. Speaking of covers that are easy to love. Um, this is the Faro edition, 9-8, uh, 
this is uh, limited to 113 copies. Um, I like this take of uh, Lady Death as the pharaoh. As we all know, um, the Egyptians were obsessed with uh, the afterlife and, and death. Uh, the pharaoh bought, uh, built his, uh, had his uh, pyramids built um, uh, to preserve his afterlife status. So, uh, up in the clouds and stuff. All right. Lady Death is the pharaoh. Cover your eyes if you can't handle um, naughty editions. This is um, an unholy ruin naughty edition. This is 37 of 300. I mean, um, naughty. Yeah, it's a cool cover. But if you're offended by this, uh, yeah, then you're probably offended by art. This was the cover art that. Um, um, kind of ran with the campaign as a header. I really like this take on Lady Death. It's a really nice cover. This is a silver foil edition of that cover. Kickstarter edition. And now we move over to the, the mystery envelopes. I maxed out the number of mystery envelopes I could take because I really like this idea of um, very highly limited um, cover art for Lady Death. I mean, this is uh, what it's all about. It's the cover art. And combine that with CGC schlabbing. I think that's a great idea because the schlabs enhance the, the cover art um, aesthetically, I think. Uh, at least, that's my opinion. Uh, this is um, a hollow foil. A chrome holofoil edition. This is limited to 33 copies. Really nice art. And Lady Death, it's a more photo like, contained in a coffin shaped box. Nice. This is another 9 6, but um, um, still a very good cover. Limited to, let's see, that's uh, 55. I think 55 was the highest number, the highest number of um, limited variants in the mystery envelope. One mystery envelope um, was $55. I mean, I have not regretted one mystery envelope at this time, including this one. Great cover. Also a great cover. Um, a mermaid, uh, a mermaid virgin art edition, number seven of thirty. I really like the virgin arts. Really enhances the beauty of the art. And this is beautiful. Another commission edition. Dawn McTagg commission. This is limited to 33 copies. This is Lady Death at um, maybe a, a, a gypsy kind of look. I really like this cover. Uh, it might be one of my favorites. Uh, Ivan Rice Commission Edition. Um, it's a clean cut, crisp black and white art. Uh, it reminds me kind of um, uh, the mastery uh, Frank Miller has shown with uh, his use of black and white. It takes a real master to handle this kind of subtlety using only black and white I think. Beautiful. This is limited to 15 copies. Richard uh, Ortiz, Commission Edition, limited to 30. Lady Death looking fancy with her magical powers. Sarah Sung, Commission Edition. This has a kind of a mystical flair. I mean, what is that covering her body? 
kind of spine looking magical stuff. I like it, but I'm not sure what it is. It's a cool cover. But this might. The next one is one of my absolute favorites in Lady Death covers so far. This is an original art edition which I had um, was lucky enough to have in one of the mystery envelopes. It was limited to um, five commissions, I think. Look at this original art. Of course, a green label from CGC being that they can't confirm who did this. But as an original art piece, this really blew me away. The painting he has used for the dots and the stars in the background are visible as paint when you look at when you look close enough. So the crispness of the art is visible through this clear CGC frame. This is a combination of beautiful, beautiful original art and the way the CGC case enhances the experience. I think this is a really, really beautiful combination. I don't care if it's a green label. This is just amazing. Speaking of amazing, this is the last part of the so-called legend editions. Starting off with... This is a Dragon Wars variant. Sketch variant. Um, this is number 22 of 33. They came as a set, so all my three copies are number 22. Um, 9, 8... This is a Legend Raw Art Edition, Virgin Sketch Cover, Joe Binet Binet's cover. I mean, this must be one of the most regional looking Lady Death covers. She often has this regal, this kingly or queenly look about her. But this one, sitting on a throne in a relaxed pose with that sight over her head just looking badass really beautiful this is the full color version also 22 looking even more <laughs> regal beautiful And to finish it off, green label, this is the handcrafted edition. The colors uh, have been applied, uh, as CGC notes, colored uh, on cover in watercolor. So this is uh, a unique color in that the um, uh, um, colors have been applied by hand. Beautiful. Beautiful. Without question the best one of the, these three. I think. Having that personal. Personal um, coloring. Yeah, I'm really amazed. Um, Lady Death has. Um, um, a Kickstarter running right now. Um, as of this date, um, there is um, it's called uh, Apocalyptic Abyss. Uh, I was lucky enough to grab one of the higher tiers, and I will probably have those sealed by CGC, and will probably showcase them in another video. Uh, probably in I don't know if I'm lucky, three four months from now, probably maybe five months. I hope you enjoy this. Um, if you feel f feel like it, uh, give it a thumbs up, maybe a comment. I appreciate it, and I will get back to you. Yeah, have a great day.